Miss Conway is fond of entertainment, so the house never sleeps. At any one time, you'll find someone in the ballroom. All night. I can hold you in my arms forever. Duncan, darling, never leave my side. Well, then, do that. You're every woman I've ever dreamed of. I've never met anyone like you. That's because there is no one mm -hmm. like me. <laughs> <laughs> this place must have cost you a pretty penny. My parents built it back in 21. I was the sole heir to the estate. Ah, so that must have been they passed on. Yes, they were killed in a safari in Africa. Oh. How terrible. Let's go for a swim. How exciting, Professor. So all these years of digging have finally paid off. think that it's the ancient water clock of Thoth. Oh, that's incredible! Byron tells me that it has mystical powers of rejuvenation. Really? On top of the sarcophagus. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Seven years. Why? <laughs> but this is nothing like Tut! I would think that someone who had so generously funded your expeditions in the past would at least be afforded a little peek. I see. What a pity. Well, congratulations on your find. Keep in touch. Torturing old fool. I've given him a small fortune to traipse around dusty tombs in the hopes that he would find something like this, and now he turns bureaucratic on me. He won't even let me see the water clock, let alone have it. Seems there's something in this world that Tess Conway wants, but can't have. Don't tease me, Duncan. This clock is important to me. You have an attic full of clocks. Not like this one. Duncan? I'd do anything to get my hands on this clock. Anything? This will be the perfect base for our operations. Not too far from the mainland, but private. And the Conway's name is like gold. What makes you think that Tess is going to go along with it? So long as I keep her in gin and relics. She'll keep her nose out of our business. What makes you think a blue blood dame like that is going to marry you? She will, Mike. She will. Yeah, well, just remember, you're just a common bootlegger. Hey, don't ever call me that! I'm a businessman. the aging process of a mummy it was placed over the sarcophagus and a few drops of the dead ruler's blood was used to activate it. But how can I use it? I'm not about to be mummified and shoved into a box. No, of course not. The clock should work for anyone who activates it, live or dead. The problem is that the effect is limited to a radius of, say, six feet. Marvelous. So I either lug a 200-pound artifact around or remain glued to it forever? Not necessarily. You see, the clock was built by Thoth to revive Osiris, who had been ripped to pieces in a body scattered all over Egypt by Seth. He says, I know the story. Get to the point. We could concentrate the power of the clock with mirrors and tune it to cover the entire island by distributing parts of your body. Are you insane? 
Do you think I'll allow myself to be hacked to bits to test your little hypothesis? No, of course not. It's not your actual body. Will you symbolic objects? It's a simple ritual to transfer your essence to an inanimate form. And then... And then I activate the clock. The island and everyone on it will join me I for eternity. Oh, do you really think it can work? What can it hurt to talk? Ma, you've been busy. I haven't seen you for the past three days. I'm sorry, darling. I've been completely absorbed in researching the water clock. So what have you found out? Is it worth anything? It's absolutely priceless. But I'd never sell. By the way, what have you been up to? Robert tells me you've been meeting some questionable characters. That, that's what I've been meaning to talk to you about. Tess, honey, I want to expand our operations. Duncan... Duncan, always scheming. I suppose you'll need some money. No, it's not like that, Tess. I, I want us to be partners. How oh, nice. Partners. What a novel concept. This is so exciting, Byron. Just think, we'll never grow old. I was sort of relishing the idea of growing old with you. I've planned a grand party for tonight. You know, I don't think anyone understands me the way you do. I've hired a troop of clowns to entertain us. You've been so understanding, so kind. We'll have a feast and dancing and plenty to drink. I think I may be in love with you. Is everything ready for tonight? Uh, yes, I think so. Uh, I'm still fine-tuning the range of the clock. Mm. Each portion of you must be carefully placed. I hope no one saw you. And what would happen if someone located these objects? They contain my soul. Fear not. I had them carefully placed. I had Angela watching my back to see if anyone was following me. helping Tess with her latest acquisition. Mmm, I thought you and Duncan didn't get along. <laughs> <laughs> Not that acquisition. The yeah. clock. The Egyptian water clock. Oh, what does it do? <laughs> well, uh, under normal circumstances, it keeps track of time by regulating the flow of water to a series of uniform drops. Mm, you couldn't use it to make gin, could you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. This clock is special. By using blood instead of water, by reciting a few simple incantations, Tess hopes to envelop us in a mystical force that will slow the aging process. Ah, do you think you could slow down my aging process and speed up hers? <laughs> well, no. Oh, pity. On the contrary, you look radiant. You think so? No, no, you're just saying that. No, no, I always thought you were very attractive. But not as pretty as Tess. Don't bet on it. Really? I thought you were in love with her. Lydia, I'm worried. Tess doesn't seem the same lately. She's been very, very distant, very secretive. I, I don't know who to talk to. I you don't know what's going on, do you? Oh, Duncan, I wish I could tell you. Tell me what? It's Tess and Byron. Tess and Byron? Be serious. No, no, not like that. Tess and Byron are scheming together. What? 
Tell me. Well, I, I can't really say, but it, it has something to do with that water clock you obtained from her. What about the clock? Duncan, can't you see she's just using you? Using me? How? Oh, I can't tell you someone's coming. Sir Byron, what's this water clock all about? Uh, well, it probably dates to the early dynastic period of Egypt. It's quite interesting if you think about it. When my ancestors were rooting about in the bog. That, that, that's very interesting, Byron, but uh, what does it do? Oh, I see. Uh, well, uh, in layman's terms, it tells time. I know that. It's a clock. But, I mean, does it have any special properties? Uh, special properties? Uh, I, I don't think I follow. <laughs> Listen, you little worm. Tess wants that clock, and I want to know why. Oh, uh, those properties. Uh, well, there are those who believe it has the ability to suspend time, uh, granting eternal youth to uh, all within its influence. It, it was first designed by us, the followers of Anubis, uh, the jackal god. Uh, the, uh, Tell me why she wants the clock. Oh, well, if you must know, she and I plan to use it to suspend time with the... Now, let go of me. I have nothing more to say. Wait, you and Tess just want to play mad scientist with this, this lost artifact? Is, it, is that what the secret is? <laughs> Laugh <laughs> if you must. When the water <laughs> clock is activated, Tess and her friends will be immortal. <laughs> and you, what will you be? How's my little scientist? Are you finished with the Hall of Mirrors? Almost. I've taken every mirror on the estate. Duncan is becoming quite curious. He's asking a lot of questions. I'm afraid he might interfere with my, with our plans. I can handle Duncan. He served his purpose. It's time I let him down gently. Soon! She was supposed to wait! No! Ah!